This is JC from the Real and Simulated Wars blog. I wanted to share today a quick note about the DCS Hornet regarding air refueling. So as you know I'm not in the business of making tutorials because I do personally suck at this. I just wanted uh, to uh, share with you something that I found out that was the culprit of all my problems refueling in the Hornet. So I'm gonna assume that you watch it, uh, the tutorials. I personally recommend the uh, Jabbers or 104 Maverick. They have great advice over there. I assume that you know all of this. The only one that I'm taking a bit of a question is the trim issue, which we will talk in a few seconds. And this is straight from the NATO's manual, which says that the control augmentation system of the fly-by-wire computer of the Hornet places an, an emphasis in pitch. Not in angle of attack, not in vertical speed, but pitch. Which means that if you want to fly straight on level, you just place your pitch at the, in a place where the vertical speed is zero and you keep a constant air speed. Which brings to the next topic, that when you are flying, you will notice that every time you change your air speed, you will start to climb or descend. And uh, the relationship for that it is that, you know, from that constant air speed that you were keeping, um, if you reduce your speed, you will lose altitude. And conversely, if you increase your air speed, you will gain some altitude, which means that you will be, you know, wobbling up and down. And that's a source of pilot-inducing oscillations. Which means that you, don't, you have to be careful not only by, you know, with your stick, but also with the throttle and your air speed, if you want to be stable. And which brings you to the instructions that are also in the Natopus manual, which say that you need to approach that basket really very, very slow. Not like shown right here. I almost stabbed it. And you see, as a consequence of that, that you know your stability suffers a lot here's another example a bit too much you see how i'm climbing there i try to correct using the the joystick and uh now not not very good in this other case i was able to maintain a bit more of a you know constant air speed just approaching very 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 slowly and basket that's it and you don't suffer any type of oscillations as a result of that and then I'm going to show you a couple of examples here and there. Uh, for this one, I don't recall what happened here exactly. Oh, I do believe that this one is this is one of the best baskets that I nailed. If you look at it, I'm having some oscillations there because of, of course, I was accelerating to catch up with the with the aircraft. Again, you know, very very small adjustment with the stick. And then almost a stop, almost a stop, and slowly increase the airspeed, and there you go, nailed it. And I'm also having, you know, recurrent problems with the stability and uh, keeping the airspeed in order to keep the basket on. And here's one last example. So, uh, as a parting message or take home conclusion, wh whatever was happening to me was just these sudden increases in airspeed and sudden decreases in airspeed that were causing me to climb and descend uncontrollably and there were a source of pilot induced oscillations if you will so this is something that uh, if you're still having problems refueling I encourage you to uh, watch for it that's it thank you for watching